so I'm back with the Dharma video for you guys today. If you guys watched my last video and how it ended, then you guys are going to know I'm kind of a mess right now, but I'm a little bit better, I think. I'm, I'm a little bit better. It seems like I'm, I'm more chill, and hopefully this video does not make me think of the thing that it made me, it made me think of last video and caused me to start all my eyes out. But, 12-year-old saves family with TikTok. What happens next is shocking. Dharma. So I have no idea how a TikTok is going to save a family, or, like, what do you mean by TikTok saves a family? Like, saves a family from getting killed, from losing their house, from what exactly? We're going to start this now. Um, I'm not in the best mood, which I guess that's normal, because I never really am. If you ask why, don't worry about it, because it makes no fucking sense, and I don't, and I don't understand myself. So, it's fine, don't worry about it. Didn't even press play yet, all I did is press full screen. That's that that's me all the time. This is literally me all the time. Like, I don't even me all the time. No no other way to say it. No easy yeah. Let's go. Mario, turn that off right now. But why? I'm in the middle of a game. I said right now. Yeah. Just a we just married her little. Oh, wow. You really think right now is the time? Yeah, that's, um... You come home for a few hours and play video games, like, yes, you're gonna move on with your life, but, like... It's like you didn't even care. It's like, okay, funeral, ugh, it's okay, I'll go to the funeral, then I'll play play video games right after. It's like, yeah, that's... That's a little bit... I would have made you come to the funeral if I would have known that you were gonna be sitting here playing video games. I can't believe you brought all your Xbox on this trip. Marisol, it's okay. Tu papá no va a querer que estuviera triste. That's true. He can play his game. No, mama, please. You're too nice to him. This is why he doesn't learn. And you brought food on my card without asking me again? Why? I was hungry. What else was I supposed to do? The enchilada sucked anyway. Nothing like yours, abuela. I need no. I'll make you some new ones right now. Mama, please. You don't need to be cooking right now. When Laurel and Gabriel get here, we'll all cook together. Por favor, please, siéntate. All I do is sit. Si me quedo sentada, it's gonna be my funeral next. Besides, I want to cook for Mario. I don't really get to see him that much. Oh, Grandma, something came in for you. Your pretzel, Mama. What? What happened? What? Oh, is it like a bill or something? Noventa días? Is it a bill or something? Noventa días? How is she gonna come up with $30,000? Oh my god. Kidney dialysis, 25,000 diabetic fire. Oh my god. In 90 days. And it doesn't make sense that Papa's medical bills are Mama's responsibility. This is how this country is. The government, the hospitals, all they care about is their money. What if we don't pay? What are they gonna do? I, Gabriel, use your cabeza. This house is in Mama's name. They could take it away, or they could come for her retirement. Come on, they're not just gonna go away. Por favor. So they come, take the house, and Mama can take turns and come and live with us, like we've talked about before. Like I haven't been trying to convince her to do that ever since Papa got sick, and we all moved so spread apart. It's not easy for her to travel anymore. It's true. Just for the record, I stayed here. You did it, Puno, because I'm all across the country. It's not a competition. <laughs> it's not my fault that my company moved to Boston, okay? I had no choice. And you know how hard it is for me to get a steady gig? Damn. You, for example, you're a nurse. You know, you can work anywhere, you know? So you don't have to work in Philly. It's not like they pay you tons of money there. But then you come here. You have an excuse. I moved there because of Roberto. It's not like I knew we were going to split up. Damn. Come on, guys. You think I don't want to move back to California? I do. But it's too expensive here on one income. Even Laurel had to move from Burbank to Bakersfield to save money. Oh, okay, okay. Easy we come un préstamo. We get a loan. Okay, and how are we going to get approved for that? 
My credit's been ruined since I co-signed for your Jetta. Uh, oh, please, Marisol, I was 21. When are you going to get that out of your head? Who is this? Are, like, are they siblings? And then they're, like, ex-partners? And then this mom's over here kind of like, Shut the fuck up, bitches. This is not helping. Head already. When it's off my credit? Yeah. Basta. Ya paren de pelear. Did Papa have any life insurance? Oh, my goodness. Like, if that wasn't the first thing we would say if we did. Oh, gosh, you don't have to be so condescending all the time, acting like you're smarter than everyone. Last time I checked, you broke too. Oh my goodness, because I'm always here having to take care of you. Don't What? what? Stop. Ya no necesito any more stress. Ya estoy bien estresada. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for laughing. First you're playing on your Xbox, and now games on your phone. I'm not playing games. I'm watching TikTok. Look, there's a lady making tortillas. My grandma. Doesn't matter. The electronics are gonna fry your brain. Put your phone away. Oh God. I mean, I don't know about fry your brain. I mean, I definitely spend ninety-seven percent of my life on my phone too. But <sighs> yeah. Hey, ya déjalo en paz, okay? He's the only one here who's not acting crazy. Damn. Y ya no quiero escuchar una palabra más sobre dinero, okay? I already know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go back to work at a restaurant. Huh? Mommy, absolutely no. No way, mommy. Back to work? I mean, I'm in this kitchen every day. I'll be fine. Mommy, esta cocina y una cocina, un restaurante, there's two completely different yes. things, especially with your bad back, mommy. La verdad. Yeah. I already made up my mind, okay? Yeah. Damn. Whatever restaurant you go to, they're gonna be real lucky because you have the best cooking, abuela. Well, we all know how mom is. Once she's made up her mind, nothing's gonna change it. Yeah. I wonder where she got that from. Oh, yeah, because Damn. I made her. I just pushed her right out of my <laughs> teeth. Like, no Knock it off! Come on! You've heard my Oh, you know what? I gotta go. I gotta return the rental car. What? Oh my gosh, it's five o'clock. Can you drop me off at the train station on your way? I ate. I'm not even done cooking yet. I'm fine, mommy. I have to go too. I don't want to miss your food and I don't want to leave you by yourself. But I have to go. Mario, start packing your things. What? No. Can I stay here with grandma, please? I still have a month and a half left of summer. No, baby. Mama has so much going on. She can't take care of you too. Andale, déjalo conmigo. Necesito la compañía. And someone to eat my food. Yeah. Please, Mom. Please. Yeah, why not? Let me stay for a few days. Okay, fine. Oh. <clears throat> like how like have a little break from a, you know, from a from your kid. We'll come back and pick you up in a few weeks, but you better be good. Huh. Come on. You know that's how I be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, I, he's way better than you guys are, so... <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Go ahead so I can finish cooking. I, I almost forgot the title. Okay, mommy, mommy. Mommy, I can't believe you guys are still here. Like, I'm so sorry. I, I'm almost done. Seriously, this is taking forever. My customers keep complaining. Maria. I'm so sorry. What's going on with the menudo? Uh, uh, I need to make a new pot. I will after I finish these tacos. You haven't even started on it yet? What am I supposed to tell the guy? You see, I try to tell you, boss. This is the reason why we shouldn't hire old people. <laughs> I try to tell you, boss, this is the reason why we shouldn't hire old people. What even happened? Like, what happened? Like, why is she, like, resting her foot? Like, what? Like, what the fuck happened even there? I don't even understand. Gracias, mijo. I'm sorry, I'll make you dinner right now. No, it's okay. I'll just make some quesadillas or something. Well, the kid's very understanding, which is obviously really good, because the kid could uh, be like, yeah, I'm gonna move on, let's go, where's my food, you know? Obviously, the grandma could, real, could put him in check real fast, too, but at the same time, the kid is already understanding, so there's no need to put him in check, right? 
<clears throat> it's nice that he's like, what, 12, and he's already basically saying, you know, it's fine, like, you're tired, I get it. We already have I'm having a rough time with this new job bullshit and this bullshit and this bullshit, so it's fine, I'll do it for you. Or it's fine, I'll make food myself. It's fine. Like, don't worry about it, right? So that, that that's really good that and, uh That's really good. Tired. You need rest. You think I'm gonna let you into my kitchen? No way, Jose. <laughs> Go play your game and I'll make you food right now. Really? <laughs> wow. He's like, I'm not gonna say no to that. Would never let me do that. I well, wish I could stay here with you forever, abuela. No, you're you're obviously just saying that because you're a kid, you got free food, and then you got to play video games all day. You know, that's obviously a nice life, right? I feel like playing video games all day would eventually get boring. Like I don't, I don't even play video games to be honest. Like I, very, I rarely play video games on my phone, on this and that. <laughs> All I do is wait for a specific someone to message me. That's basically it. That's all I care about every day. Oh. oh. I think I'm gonna wait for the medicine to start working. Over oh, here, she's back at work. That's a lot. Why are all the lights blue, like fl like flickering and I've never seen the restaurant this busy. Everyone is saying they love the food. Great. Now we just gotta make sure we keep up with the orders. Still haven't washed the dishes. I'm so sorry. I I'll do them right now. You're lucky. You're a great cook. Otherwise. Fire you for going so slow. What? So she's supposed to make all the food, literally make all the food, wash the dishes, and just totally do it, and, and totally just be able to do it herself? No, bitch. Like, you help her. Like, what are you doing to, to contribute? Huh? I get you're the boss and the manager, but still, like, you're kind of useless, bro. You're just kind of doing nothing except for complaining, so. Like, what are you doing, huh? The customer who ordered for so is asking, what's taking so long? They're getting impatient. You hear that? They're getting impatient. Okay, well, you can tell them to suck my. Maria? They're getting upset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maria? Oh, now you care. Oh, now you care about her. They're getting upset. Starts fainting. Maria, are you okay? Bitch, you don't care. Shut the fuck up. Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Lena. Nothing serious. We're going to start an IV and get some foods into you, okay? No, I, I need to get back to work. Wait, wait, Mrs. Castillo, you don't need to do anything but rest. You, you don't understand. Uh, I already have a very large medical bill that I have to pay. I can't afford no more. I have to go. No, no, no. It's not safe. Now, I need you here for the next few hours to monitor you. So, then you can go, okay? Now, uh, do you have anyone that we can call? No, no. It, it's okay. Gracias. Mm. Rest. Damn, this show, like, she doesn't want anybody knowing either. Like, not the son, or not the grandson, or not the... <sighs> Abuela! Are you okay? When you didn't come home, I called the restaurant, and they told me everything. So I Ubered here. Did you tell your mama? Good. Please don't tell her. Why not? You're in the hospital. I have to. If you tell her, and she's gonna come with your tío and your tía, and then they're gonna tell me to stop working at the restaurant, and I can't. I need to get back to work. You can't. Okay. And not just because of your health. When I talked to them, they said, they said they have to let you go. What? No, no, mijo, what am I going to do? No, 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 no. $3,480. I know mom, the auntie has said that help. Should I ask? No, mijo, I don't want them to worry. They're already worried, abuela. I talked to mom earlier today. 
She said she's sad seeing you here alone. I wish your abuelo was still here. He always knew what to do. So yeah, here's like an actual emotional video, and then I'm and then I'm over here freaking being sad about something stupid. Don't this. worry about me, mijo. Sorry, but yeah, I I I love how she doesn't say the the past thing. Yeah, okay. I like how she's not taking money from any, anybody. That's obviously really good. Obviously, if she does accept money, that's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you're a loser. It doesn't mean anything like that. It just means that you're accepting some help, which is obviously great. And um, if you pay it back, or if they want to pay you back, or <clears throat> like if I feel like if they ask for money, then it's kind of like it's not bad because it's never bad to ask for help. It just depends if they ask for a lot and ask consistently and all the time, and they don't pay you back. That's when it's sus. But I, re I respect people that even if they're struggling, they're like, no, I don't ask for money. I like that a lot. That's obviously a really good thing to have. That's great. You will play your game, okay? okay? She's too caring and too nice. Like, I really hope she doesn't dig herself into a grave. Come and look. This lady has a TikTok account. And she makes. <gasps> That's it. We can start our own restaurant, okay? We could start a TikTok page showing people how to make Mexican food. People will love the videos. And then you can tell them we have a restaurant where they can order from. What are you talking about? I, I'm too old to know how to make videos. That's well, what you have me for. I'll do the recording. All you have to do is the cooking and the talking. I, I don't know if I can open up a restaurant. I, I can't even go to work at one. That's the thing. You don't have to go anywhere. It'd be right here. And over time, we could hire people so that way they could work for you. Open up a restaurant here? No. Um, and well, I don't want strangers in my home. Not a real restaurant. A virtual one. There'd be no customers. They'd be ordering on delivery apps now instead of going to the actual place. Like the enchiladas I bought. And we could even talk about Abuelo's medical bills. People love supporting these kinds of things on TikTok. I, I don't know. Come on, Grandma, please. It's not like you have anything to lose. Otherwise, I'm calling Mom and telling her you were in the hospital. No, don't do that. Okay, let's try my idea then. Please, Grandma. Just try. Please. I can never say no to you. Yes. I'll get set up. Okay, I'll get dressed and put on some lipstick. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't need lipstick. And just like that, Abuela decides to give Mario's idea a chance. With Mario's help, she shares her emotional story about her unexpected medical bills from her late husband, all while teaching people how to cook Mexican food. Sure enough, people fall in love with her and her TikTok. Like, I don't get how she's happy. Like, I'd be bawling my eyes out every time I look at the photo. If I lost somebody like that, I would be bawling my fucking eyes out. <laughs> and her TikToks go viral. Oh, what a surprise. To go viral. Abuela can't believe how many people are watching her videos and leaving comments. And not just that. Ordering her food too. Over time, orders start pouring into their virtual restaurant to the point where they even have to hire employees. Mario and Abuela couldn't be more excited. Abuela, hurry through the front door. Come on, come on. Who, 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 who's at the front door? Mario, is everything okay? You know, what's this big emergency? You have to tell us in person. You'll see, you'll see. Come in. ¿Qué están haciendo todos aquí? Mario nos llamó que llegáramos y vinimos as fast as we could. No sabía. No. Mama, I didn't know you were coming. 
¿Qué pasa? All right, everyone, calm down. I'll explain everything in a sec, okay? Okay. Okay, mom. Tío. Gracias. Tía. Thank you. Now, before I explain these envelopes, I just want to say that I know how worried everyone's been about Abuela, especially since Abuelo's gone. So, that's why I figured out a way for all of us to be together. Pero Mario, just sabes, mamá can't be going back and forth to be with us. It's too hard on her. I'm not talking about her coming to stay with you guys. I'm talking about you guys being back here, in Burbank, with her. That's why you called us here? To tell us that? Honey, you know we can't even afford the flight here. We can't afford to move here. You should have called and told us this on the phone. Mario, Marison is right. It's just way too expensive for us. All right, I understand. How about you guys open the envelopes now? Okay. Um... What, a bunch of money or checks? What, what, what is this? We didn't tell you guys about this, but me and Grandma started a virtual restaurant. It's gotten really popular on TikTok. So popular that she needs help. So I figured that we could run it together as a family business. Huh? <laughs> is this for real? You started a business together? See? I don't understand this, but if this is real, this is amazing. But we need this money for Papa's medical bills. We can't keep oh, this. Yeah. Yes, you can. Because of the long week we just had. Boom. Abuelo's medical bills are already paid for. What? <laughs> so you're telling me that in the week since I dropped you off, you guys paid $60,000? That's crazy. Actually, there's no way. Seventy-two thousand seven hundred and one dollars to be exact. There, there's no way. After expenses. What? They're kind of like, what the fuck? I guess being on electronics isn't such a waste of time, is it? <laughs> Damn. I guess not. Me. <laughs> oh yeah, you definitely showed her, didn't you? Damn. So, what do you guys say? Will you guys stay? Be close to grandma and help her. Well, I. I can't stand the cold weather, and the winters are getting pretty hard, so... And I really don't have anything holding me back in Bakersfield. And I would love to be closer to my mom, so if this is real, I think we have to... It's oh my God. Yes. <laughs> now I get to see you all the time, Grandma. Hoy es el comida para todos para celebrar. Actually, no need, Grandma. I already made enchiladas. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you see your face? I already made enchiladas. Bitch, you used my kitchen without my permission? Look at her face. So she's like, uh huh, uh huh. Like she's not playing. She's like, what the fuck did you do? Wait, what? You cooked? Yeah, I've been recording a while on making enchiladas for a while now. I've got them down to a tee. Whoa. Well, let's <laughs> try them now. Like <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get out of here. Oh, that was kind of funny. That was, that was a good video though, guys. If it was based on a true story, I would have liked it a bit more because again, anything like this could happen in a Dharma video because <clears throat> it's a Dharma video. That's why I don't take them too seriously, but of course, like their lessons are correct. Morals of the story is I'm super fucking tired. <laughs> That's number one. It's never too late to follow your dreams as long as you're alive. When family gets together for the sake of each other, there's no limit to what it can do. Facts. The kindness you put into the world always comes back to you, blah, blah, blah. This has the tears flowing. I lost my grandma unexpectedly back in August 2022. Grandma's a really special. Grew up wishing I could live with my grandma. Mm. That's sad, man. Like, there's always deaths and unexpected bullshit that you just can't like win from it seems like and it's just or not win from obviously you can't win from deaths but like you know what I mean like you just can't 
Like, sometimes in life you just can't win, you feel like, and, like, that's, that's my thing. It's like you're, you may already be struggling with something else, and then you have that, then you lose somebody, and then it's just, like, can't even imagine what that's like, bro. Like, I, I missed, I, um, I've said this in a couple videos. I've had two funerals I attended to, as far as on my memory. My first one was in Poland when I was on vacation. The first night that I arrived, my grandpa passed away. So we did see him, we did meet him. But then he, he basically passed a few hours after we met, so that was three years ago. Sorry, five years ago. Oh my god, that was five years ago. That's crazy. I don't, I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. I just can't imagine having a partner and like growing old together and being the first one to pass and like seeing how difficult it would be for the other person like my grandma was not taking that easily at all which makes sense that was obviously her partner her lifelong partner her soulmate her her partner you know like even though even though they probably argued and stuff a lot which is gonna happen it's gonna happen like my potential ish kind of ish i don't know it's complicated. It's 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 complicated. We're not really in a relationship, but we kind of are. But we're not. I I, I don't think you know. It's it's just complicated. My point of me bringing that up is, you grow all together, you live together for years and nine. You're both retired. You're both just chilling, living life. And one passes away. Obviously, for the one that pa passes away, it means nothing to them because they just passed away. They're dead. They're gone. For the person that's still here. It's so hard, man. Like, I... It's really good when families can actually come together and start this stuff that's going on nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Dar always knows how to make us laugh, have fun, but mostly life lessons. That was definitely a really good video though, guys. I did like it a lot. Um, I, I do really enjoy that video, not gonna lie. Um, so now, obviously, we know by 12-year-old saves family with TikTok. Now we know what that means. Because, of course, at first I was like, why? What does that mean? You know what I mean? But now, obviously, I know. Um, yeah, that's really good. Also, you guys can... You barely see it, but you'll notice like a little pride on my arm. It's cute, I know. I like it, it's kind of cute. I love it. I, I don't want to wash it off, but I'm gonna have to, so. But I love it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys didn't, uh, enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. I'm super fucking tired. I still got a shower, I'm still fucking tired. Time. It's 3, it's 15 a.m., so please, please appreciate this video. Thank you. Be sure to like this video, be sure to comment down on this video what you guys thought and your comments, suggestions, all that good crap and all that other crap and yeah, that's it. And I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just too tired to care right now. Um, comment and subscribe, uh, turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh. I should probably stop recording. Okay, bye.